Hi, I'm Mikey Amos, and I'm a guide here at Thomas Jefferson's Monticello. We are here today at Monticello, standing inside of Thomas Jefferson's parlor to talk about one of the weirder objects in Monticello's collection that Jefferson would have owned in his lifetime. So this object right here is called a vacuum pump. This is a time period piece that's very similar to a device that Jefferson would have bought in London in 1786. So a vacuum pump is a scientific instrument, and that's important to Jefferson because he's what we like to call a man of the enlightenment. So a lot of people come here and they ask us, what exactly does that mean, him being a man of the Enlightenment? Well, the Enlightenment was a period in America and Europe in which there was a blossoming of scientific reasoning and scientific observation. And a man like Jefferson, who once said that knowledge was power, safety, and happiness, he was gonna make sure he had the latest devices so that he can test out his scientific curiosity. So what this vacuum pump does is that if you turn this handle, you can suck all the air out of this top bulb, and you can do an experiment on what happens in difference in air pressure, and of course, what happens inside of a vacuum. So what many people would have done back then, some of them would have even stuck little birds inside of this bulb. They would have sucked all the air out, and then of course the bird's gonna faint. And then, almost as if by magic, when they're trying to entertain an audience or some of their guests, they're gonna let the air back in, and then the bird will come back to life. But this object is a symbol of the Enlightenment and a symbol of Jefferson's reasoning about his love for the Enlightenment in which he believed that education and knowledge was the only way in which the people of this nation and any other nation were going to be able to run a civilized society in which the governments of those people were going to be able to run themselves properly and correctly. So folks, if you were to come here to Monticello, you could witness more objects just like this vacuum pump over here and see Thomas Jefferson's varied interest in science and Thomas Jefferson's interest in knowledge. And you can see all the other objects we have in this house that also add to Jefferson's ideals and beliefs in the Enlightenment, and you'll figure out why exactly we call him a man of the Enlightenment.